What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craft Master Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up Arrangement Arsenal. Ten arrangements from the most popular songs out right now. Um, don't, also, don't forget to pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Today, we're going to be going over um, just a quick topic. I'm going to be showing you guys the... Uh, um, uh, just breaking down the um, explode pitches to tracks function. So I seen a I, I seen a question on Twitter, and someone was asking if um they were asking Presonus if like battery could um could could route the pads out um to their independent outputs. And I forget if it could or not. I I know I've used battery. I've tried to use battery in the past. It didn't really fit my workflow that well. But I remember when I was using battery. I remember that's when I got into explode pitches to tracks. Um. But today I'm going to show you, I want to show you in contact, right? So there is, you know, there's, there's different, there's different, um, libraries that you, that, that a person might use where, um, where it would be, it would be something that would be in the piano roll where each pitch isn't, it, it, it isn't a pitch. It triggers a sample. Um, and a good example of this would be say a drum kit, right? So in a, in, in, a um, you know, in a, in a hip hop perspective, um, what I do, what I use, what I use this for a lot is for example, um, if you go into, if you go into, um, the grooves, right, you can find, um, you can find different fills. And, um, you know, you might want to, you might want to mix those sounds as, uh, as different sounds. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use, I'm going to use the drag and drop to take this MIDI and run it on to, um, run it onto contact now now we open up contact you can see that we have uh you know we have one two three four five six different seven different pitches um but and they all represent different samples but what if i wanted to have individual control of these and i'm not running the you know the 16 out and i don't want to bother with that routing um an easy way to do this is to go ahead and right click on this and go to event and you're going to i'm sorry you want to go to instrument parts and you want to go to explode pitches to tracks right and what that's going to do is each each pitch now has its own that that is being populated by a note. That's what's important. Rather than doing the whole keyboard, um, you'll see the notes that are being triggered in the name of uh, of the region. Each one of them has um, has their own track. And then from here, you can go ahead and just press Command B, and now you have um, now you have the different you know the different samples, which is really cool. Right. So you got that guy. You got that guy. little ghost note there yeah so something something real real quick and easy and then maybe you know if you don't if you don't want to deal with having all these extra tra tracks once you go ahead and um you know run your levels the way that you like it and you know go ahead and go ahead and change it um uh, another another quick hack that you can use is you can hot you can highlight all of these and go to audio and then run um i'm sorry this one is under event mix down selection and then it'll give you it'll give you all those back on one region and then you can just go ahead and take take all these tracks right here and you can either hide them or remove them you know um if if you're on a if you're on a computer that isn't like the latest and greatest you might want to remove them along with the instrument that way you could save yourself cpu space and work just an audio so this is a really quick tip into the beginner's manual explode pitches to tracks any type of plugin that you have where you're using the piano roll and they represent different samples and i mean i mean you could even do it with pitches if you wanted to um 
but where but it's most useful if if you're using a, a plugin that where the um the notes on the keyboard represent a different um a different sample and you want to you know you want to break them out and give them their own fader um but the plugin only has a stereo out this is a real quick and simple way you can see it's done you know within seconds so this is cmp with Amp master production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one